Hey guys, I'm kind of picking up right where I left off with the last search install for the distributed cluster. So I'm just going to jump straight into the Wazoo install uh, as well and then push on from there. Alright guys, so right here on my screen you see where I have heads 411. We just got done installing the last search and ch checking that the cluster is good to go. And so uh, starting from server 1, we're going to go ahead and uh, install Wazoo Manager. And the only thing you're going to do is, is once you uh, get down to the bottom of that page where it said uh, installing the last search, basically at the bottom, uh, it's going to say install Wazoo. And it's going to say, uh, I believe it was, let me look back here. It says Wazoo Multi-Node Cluster. Go ahead and click on that at the bottom of that, and then it'll take you to the next page. And then uh, if you're depending on if you're running CentOS or Red Hat or Debian, I'm running uh, Ubuntu, so I'm, I'm using apt. So make sure you click on that tab whenever you go to start installing things or you'll mess yourself up. So anyway, the first part of the Wazoo install is adding the Wazoo repository. You don't need to do that because you did it whenever you were putting in uh, Elasticsearch. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to add, get, install Wazoo manager and right click it on my first node and hit tack Y. So it'll just beam on through. I'm going to go ahead and do that to both of my nodes. And then right after that, you're going to jump straight into uh, configuring the, the uh, cluster piece for the Wazoo. And if you want to, I, I would kind of recommend pre-reading through some of this because sometimes you're like, why isn't this working? And, and then the answer to your question will be in, like literally in the next line. So just be mindful of that. And also keep in mind from the previous video that I've already moved the certs over. So the certs.tar file is sitting in my home directory. And so just keep, uh, instead of moving your certs.tar somewhere else, I would just copy it from there. And then at the end of all the installations uh, of all the nodes, I would remove your search.tar from everywhere except for maybe your initial node. You can put it under your root directory. That way it's somewhat uh, protected. So anyway, that just got done installing. So I'm going to go ahead and do a nano. If I can type right. And then paste in that. And then it's going to take me straight to my OSET config. And I'm going to page down on my keyboard. Excuse me, guys. I'm trying to fight a cough here. All right, so you're going to find it right here in the osec.conf file. And then you can you can kind of customize this as you want to. I'm just going to put lab um, wazoo cluster, or well, I'm sorry, lab hits cluster. And then this is going to be your uh, the node name. So keep in mind, this is what you did in your instances earlier. So I'm going to put master node following suit with my, uh, my instances.yml file. And then here's a, this right here is the master node for your Wazoo, so I'm going to leave that there. And then here's a little trick you can do. Um, you need to generate a, a, a key for this. And so I'm just going to hop over to my second server. And I'm just going to do open SSL. And then it's going to be RAND and then type hex and then 16. And that's going to give me a, generate me a key. And then I'm just going to copy that over here. Just an easy way to do it. And then I'm going to come down, uh, the port's good, the binary address is good, and then you want your node IP to be your master's IP, which is the 10.1.1.42 in my case. I'm going to come down to disabled and type in no. Oh, don't accidentally delete your uh, your greater than or less than signs. If you do, make sure you put them back. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and control over that to write it. And then I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same thing on my second node or my second server. I'm going to do nano var osec etsy osec.conf oh. and then page down. It, it does walk you through the, every little thing in the uh, documentation, but I've done this so many times, I just I know where to go. So anyway, right here under cluster, same thing, and and make sure, make absolute certain that this matches on both. All right, and if you if you recall in my instances.yml file, I made this worker tag node one, and this node type is going to be a worker, and then here's the key again. And I'm going to go back to my first first server and uh, 
copy that over. All right, and then go down to your nodes and your node IP. Again, this is going to be your master IP. And then again, make sure you come out here and hit make sure you hit no for the disabled. And then make sure you write that. All right, so. All right, that's already written, so we're going to go ahead and exit out of that. And then I'm going to scroll down the documentation here. So the next thing, basically, after you configure the cluster, you just start it. And it's going to say the same thing in the next piece of documentation, but for your worker nodes instead. All right, so I'm going to make sure that started before I actually hit the start button on the second one. Uh oh, having a bit of an issue. Of course, this is going to happen when I'm trying to do this a second time. It says mismatch tag, line 336. Okay, so let's go check that out. I love troubleshooting on the spot. It's probably something silly. Ah, uh, yep, see, I accidentally deleted it. This, little, this one little spot right here, make sure you close off those brackets. That's, that's exactly what I just did, how about that? All right, so go ahead and hit rewrite that, and then come back up here and hit start, and then it'll start, and then check status. Demo files are very touchy when it comes to making sure everything's correct. And again, the second server is over here just waiting to basically hit go. All right, so that's good to go. So we have status, awesome. And then we're going to go ahead and start the second one. And go ahead and copy, make sure we copy the status and just make sure we paste that next time. All right, go ahead and check the status of that. Perfect. And then you'll see this other command in here that you can paste in there is basically verifying the cluster. So if you uh, paste this in here, what you want to see is both of your Wazoo nodes up and running. So right here we have my master and then we have my work, my first worker. And then as long as those two are showing, you're good to go. All right, so the next thing that we're going to do is go ahead and install FileBeat. <clears throat> and then so on the first server, I'm going to go ahead and right click, install FileBeat, put attack yes on the end of that. And let that install and we'll go and do the same thing to the second server just so we don't have to wait for it later. Some things you can do in parallel, some things you gotta be careful on how you do it, uh, you know, depending on uh depending on how it's installed basically. Alright, so both of those are good to go. Alright, so now we're gonna go ahead and walk through all the steps for downloading stuff for file beat. So the next thing we're gonna do is uh download the pre-configured uh con configuration file used for Wazoo Alerts. And then again, do that in parallel on both servers. Just be very careful uh, not to lose track. And then next, we're going to download the alerts template for Elasticsearch. And you, you notice it's uh, adding this permission to the Wazoo template. Same thing on the second server. All right, and then number four, we're going to download the Wazoo module for FileBeat. And you should get this output right here for that to work correctly. Same thing on the second server. All right, and so the next thing you'll see on the documentation, if you're following along, is you'll see it says number five, edit the uh, the file beat.yaml, and it has the option for the Elasticsearch single node cluster or the Elasticsearch multi node cluster. Make sure you click on the multi node. And this is what I had my template for before. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and nano uh, Etsy file and then file beat.yaml, and it's gonna give me this, and then I'm gonna exit back out of it, and then I'm gonna do a remove. I'm going to remove that file and then do nano for a brand new file. And I'm going to come up here to my, I actually have it written this time. 
All right, so what you're going to see here is you're going to see the file B configuration. Here's the here, so here's how you're supposed to do it for a multi-node, and you can see it on the um, documentation page. But this is how it's supposed to look. So I'm going to go ahead and grab all that, copy it, paste it in here. I'm going to go ahead and do a Control O to write it and exit out of that. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on my second one as well. Remember, I'm doing the nano first just so I, can, I don't have to retype all that out. All right, same thing. I did, basically, it was already in my, in my clipboard, so I just pasted it in there. And it's the same stuff. All right, so Control O on that. Exit out. All right, so here's where you got to be uh, careful again. So uh, we, know, we know I've already moved the search server, so what we're going to do is do an alias. And this is for your basically for your file beat for your master node and for your worker node. So I'm gonna type node name master node, and then this is the part where I'm gonna be very careful and do line by line. And then again, instead of moving the search, I'm just gonna copy it from my root directory, and I'm gonna copy it into the file beat search, and then I'm gonna cd over to file beat. And do ls, and then you'll see the search.tar. And this is the part where you go ahead and use your alias and then pull them out. And then once again, ls, you'll see master node key and master node. And then you're going to move them, move slash rename them. All right, so if you do another ls right here, you'll see that they got renamed. All right, and then from there, you're going to go ahead and do a daemon reload, enable file B, and start it. All right, and here, here's a little test output that you can do. Right-click file B, test output, and then you, this is what you should see right here. Everything looks, should be green. All right, so right now, I'm going to hit remove search.tar because we don't need the search.tar laying around everywhere. Do another LS. Bam, too easy. All right, so now, move over to your second server. All right. And then same thing. So we just so from here on the second server, we just uh, redid the YAML file. You'll see right there. So same way, uh, only it's a little bit different. So you do no name, but you want to alias that to your your first worker, and don't mistype because that'll screw you up. So it's going to be worker node one, and then once again, I'm going to you know, baby step through this. So create the search directory under FileBeat, and then go ahead and copy your root. I'm sorry, this is going to be under your home directory since I'm on the second server. So search.tar over to file beat search. And then we're going to CD over there after you copy. So you're going to see your search.tar file there. And then we're going to untar just the stuff we need for here too. Again, ls. And then again, we're going to remove them and rename them. All right, do another ls, perfect, and then we're going to go ahead and remove the search.tar file. All right, and then once again, we're going to go ahead and system daemon reload, enable file beat, and start file beat. And again, we're going to go ahead and do that test so we can make sure everything works right. Okay, okay. So ls, all right, so this, okay, I did delete the search.tar. Awesome. Awesome, guys. Okay, well, that is installing Wazoo Manager and file beat on both nodes. If we want to go back, we can double check. We can say, we, we already know that Elasticsearch works. We already know that Wazoo works, and we know that FileB works. So, I mean, if you want to double check, you can do Elasticsearch. You can check them individually or in a row. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> I misspelled FileB. All right. So you can scroll up. Elasticsearch is running. Wazoo Manager is running. FileB is running. And I, I mean, if you, uh, if you really want to, you can do it on the other one too. If I can find, there it is. All right, so everything looks good. All right, guys, so I'm going to leave, leave off with this video right now. Uh, and then I'm going to pick up a third video where I'm installing Kibana. And that one's going to be relatively short because installing Kibana is not very long but anyway guys i'm just again i'm breaking this up so that everything can fit 
uh, cohesively. But anyway, guys, again, like it, share it, comment on it. Let me know what your thoughts are, and I appreciate it. And uh, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks.